It's very quiet. Oh, man. I could sleep all day long in this bed. But I'm way too hungry. Man. I miss that dirty little dog. So much more than I thought I would. That's cool. Claire dug this up for us. That's such a baller in his suit. This is pretty good so far. I love that Steven only has crime and train books. All right. I'm allowed to go out now. Thanks, Claire, but I will never wear these things. Tanya was training his precision with ease. Fucking awesome. That's a terrifying doll. By the way, how do I add patches and stuff? I should get rid of my fucking weed pipe. <laughs> I got a top. When did I get a top? There wasn't a lot there. Reynolds house. That looks like a tree house. Train set. Ah, oh, but... There wasn't anything on the body there. That is gonna be Captain Spirit's toys. I guess there was something up in one of the trees, I don't know. And that's a radio. we actually spent a month out there by ourselves and survived. Hold on. Okay. Pretty badass. Let's go. Sean! Finally! Sean, are you awake? Breakfast almost done, so come down when you're ready, okay? Okay! Choo choo! <sighs> What's up? Ah, look who's here. But uh, you're too late for the 915 Express. Um, it's okay. I'll take the next one. It will leave after breakfast. Don't be late this time. <laughs> I won't. I'm glad they get along so good. Daniel's definitely the ideal grandson. Fuck. I broke this thing like 10 years ago. I can't believe they fixed it. And kept it. It's been locked ever since we got here. I kind of don't give a fuck. Better not sneak in. They won't like it. Oh, man. How did we survive for weeks out there with no hot water? Wow. They sure did stock us up on clothes for the winter. Hope I'll never have to hold on to a bar to take a shit. <laughs> they have so many pills and stuff to take. 
sucks to be old. So I need to come back here at some point to get the um, item. That's... Steven doesn't like us in here when he's away. Oh wow. We've got an aquarium. Where's the fish though? We spent the whole week locked up in the house. Will things ever go back to normal? Look who's awake. Good morning, sleepyhead. It's that bed. Feels like a cloud. Like a cloud. <laughs> I know. Yeah, join for breakfast. You can sit down, Sean. Aren't you... Daniel! <sighs> breakfast time! Your brother is ready. Grandma, show me a pop star! Steven! Your grandson needs to eat now. You can show him the boxcar later. <laughs> I love how they're getting along. Do you need help or anything? Oh, don't worry. I can do this in the dark. <laughs> but thanks for the offer. All right, all right. Are you boys done playing? We had a express delivery with the passengers, but... The engine broke down. Yep, has to go straight to the workshop. Good. No trains in the kitchen, remember? Gotcha, Chief. Choo choo! <laughs> oh, sugar. <sighs> he can fix his trains, but not my kitchen. Did I make enough? Everything's okay? It's great. As usual. You're the best cook ever. Looks like you're getting cozy with this new country life after all. Yeah. It's nice to be far away from everything. Feels like we're the only ones out here. Well, that's exactly why we love it. It feels safe, unlike the big city. I get it. I like it. It's cool here. Well, bless your soul. You'd get along good with our neighbors. We try to lend a hand, like to Charles next door. He lost his wife, and things have been hard on him and his son. He would just get lost in Seattle. But we're all taking care of him here. How old is his son? I, I think he's your age. Ooh, cool. But Stephen was a fast eater. Hey, Grandma, I wanted to ask you something about that locked room upstairs. I told you there is nothing to see in it, Daniel. Why were you in it this morning, then? Because there's a lot of old junk in there. And besides, it's not safe for you to explore, okay? But we'll be fine. Why don't you go explore outside? You sure look like you're getting better. Get some fresh air. I'll wait for Sean, and then we'll go. We won't be loud. Promise. But be careful nobody sees you. Stay in the back, okay? Maybe you should tell him that it was Karen's room. 
It's just a room now, Sean. Nothing to see. Daniel needs that. He doesn't know anything about her. I know, poor thing. But his mother isn't in there anymore. So nobody goes in the room, okay? I'm serious. Did mom ever contact you? She only talked to dad a few times. Then she was gone. Yes, she was. You know, Sean, I don't really want to talk about this anymore. It's over. Anyway, you have to respect my rules under my roof, okay? Of course. Always. I appreciate that, Sean. Now you better go find your brother. There's a shed with some old toys outside. I'll bet Stephen has the key. Tanny will freak. Thank you. Can I, like, go do the, the wash-up? Oh, she's already done it. Aunt Grandma's awesome. All right, recipes. Mmm. Claire could totally be on one of those cooking shows. She would be brutal. Is it just me, or was that language in Simish? It sounded like a very Simish. It's cool that Claire does her little paintings. I wonder where this was taken. I don't picture Claire and Steven as world travelers. Where was that picture of you guys on the beach from? We went to Hawaii when Steven retired, believe it or not. <sighs> That's so cool. I could tell. Ah, oh, shit. I wasn't done talking. I heard Claire rehearse some songs. <laughs> She's got the groove. I haven't seen any actual fish in there since we got here. Sorry for getting upset, Sean. I, I just don't feel comfortable talking about all this. It's, it's fine, really. We don't have to. Hey. Claire? What's on your mind, Sean? What's the story with your neighbor? Charles? Oh, poor man used to be a basketball coach, but had to move out here after his wife's passing. He's got a job at the rail yard now, and, well, he's still recovering. Wow. I mean, that's sad. We tried to give him a hand, keep an eye on his drinking problem. His son Chris is a little angel, though. I think Daniel would be a good influence on him. He's got a great role model, after all. Thanks. I'm trying my best. Ow. How long have you and Stephen been married? Oh my, forever, <laughs> but a good forever. Almost 40 years. Man, that's more than twice my age. You both were married during Y2K. Thanks for making me feel even older. I assume you must have a girlfriend or... <laughs> I almost started dating this one person, but I guess... Not anymore. I understand. I'm sorry, honey. It's not fair that you have to deal with all this. Things will change. I hope. Do you know anything about Dad's funeral? There was a service. We couldn't make it in time, but we sent flowers. I'm sorry, Sean. It's okay. 
I just want to make sure somebody took care of him. Hopefully, you can go visit him at some point. At some point? Yeah. Well, thanks, Claire. You are very welcome. It's always a pleasure to speak with my grandsons. Man, can you imagine watching a slasher out here? Deep in the woods, no one around. No way. Too scary. I'm not gonna draw on her wall. Oh, unless it's like drawing. Uh, okay. Unless it is drawn on the wall, in which case. No, it's not good. Hey, I wanna be in your drawing. Oh, don't draw me like this, Sean. I'm a mess. <laughs> don't worry. I'm drawing the whole room. Good. It's so nice to see you. I've looked you enough. Breakfast. Time to draw on it. So I'm not moving. Hope I look good. So if I wanted, I could put her in. I didn't memorize what I'm drawing. I need to take a look. What? He's letting him play with firecrackers again? Oh, for Christ's sake. Hmm. Pretty good. So... But I can add more details if I want. That would be him... Uh, blowing up the snowman. I need to observe more before I can actually draw. Can we go sh the way he was sitting then? It was like, ooh, hover, 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 hover. All right, I'm gonna go upstairs. Have you ever seen, Have you ever seen any actual fish in there? Never. <laughs> well played, all right. So while he's in his garage fixing his train, I can pop up. I can't believe Steven spent his whole life building this. He's a real artist. Hey, what's up? Oh, so you actually showed up one time. The train is about to leave the station. I'm new to the job, but I'm ready, Chief. Now, I could be a real superhero and save the train from disaster. I remember playing this when I came here years ago. Man, things were so different back then. Hold on, what is the actual... It looks like it's one that you have to switch it. This model is so amazing. Yeah, Grandpa says it took decades to build. Can you believe it? <laughs> it's crazy. It's way cooler than anything I ever did in Minecraft. I 
wonder if I can take what just got dropped off at the station. This toy train is kind of soothing, actually. Hmm. Sounds like something stuck in that tunnel. I wonder if Steven has ever seen a flying train. Says, it sounds like there's something stuck in this in the tunnel. So we're gonna get up. I'm gonna go check the tunnel. Have I found something? Or do I check the train? Ooh, there actually was something stuck in there. Yeah. There you go, boy. I found something. All right. So I missed the first one, which was up in a tree. Hmm. Think I need a handy assistant. Can you hand me the glue in the cupboard behind me? Shh. Whoa. Careful. Sorry, I I forgot. That thing isn't too stable. Let me just. Oh, uh, okay. Sorry. My fault. Your grandmother keeps telling me, but. Uh, I'm a lazy old man. Hey, uh, can you close the door? I want to talk for a second. Oh. Uh, it's the power cable, of course. Yeah, it happens all the time. So, listen, I've uh, noticed things with Daniel. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? Don't mention the powers. That's the rule. Hide his powers. Um, not really. What things? Well, I, I'm not sure how to put it. Like, some kind of invisible force. A holy gift or something. Um, uh, yeah, Daniel likes to pretend he's got superpowers, but that's it. That's it? Okay. But be careful, Sean. He's still so young. Sure. Oh, by the way, let's keep this between us. Claire has a lot of strong beliefs. She wouldn't understand. She adores Daniel and just wants both of you to be safe and happy. What I'm trying to say is maybe you should stay here with us. I know you boys plan to run to Mexico, but... Thanks. Maybe we could, but... Why not? I know, being out here in the sticks with us old farts isn't exciting, but... This is your home now. It's cool. Kinda different, but... I just don't want you to get into trouble because of us. It's dangerous to be on the road. Do you think your father would have wanted this for his kids? Of course not. But everything's different now. I know. I know. Well, just think about it. But don't torture yourself. I will. Hey, uh... Claire said you had the keys for the tool shed? Oh, uh, sure. <clears throat> 
Here. You guys enjoy the sun. And be careful with that shed. It's probably a mess inside. Thanks. Thanks. It's good to see you in my lair. You know, you were afraid to come in here as a kid. Really? <laughs> Why? No idea. Uh, but you're a big boy now. You can take a look around. I won't eat you. Cool. <laughs> How come you have a disco ball? Are you, like, throwing parties and stuff? <laughs> no, this is a, a souvenir, you know? I actually met your grandma during a disco not. Claire told me you guys have been married for like 40 years, so it kind of makes sense. Yeah, that sure was a long time ago, but uh, we stuck together, you know, through thick and thin. That's cool. Well, call me old fashioned, but uh, I think that's how marriage should be. That's his mom. Oh, you found this. I, uh, I just forgot to, uh... It's okay. It's been a while since I've seen her face. Uh, yeah. I like taking a look at it from time to time. Doesn't it hurt? Yeah, it does, but she's still my daughter, you know. I can't approve what she's done, but I, I, uh, I think I understand. Good. I don't. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, Jean. Please don't. Uh, uh, please don't say anything to Claire about this, okay? Don't worry. I won't. Stephen sure takes his hobby. Uh, well, God, I'm sorry, Sean. I know you guys miss your games and your websites. Uh, but trust me, a, a break from all this can only do you good. You know, it's... It's safer that way. Yeah, yeah. I know. Wow. Is that you? Oh, yeah, that was taken when I retired. The mayor came to congratulate me himself. That's awesome. Yeah, really great day. Ah, uh, I wish you'd been here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. Man, who did this? Oh, great. he was our neighbor's son, Chris. Yeah, I, I helped him and his dad build that treehouse. Why are you holding a fire sword? I'm, I'm not sure. You know, that kid sure has an imagination. <laughs> uh, uh. Oh, there you are, Sean. Got the key? Hey. I have to go out and run some errands. Can you do me a big favor? Do you know how to work a washing machine? <laughs> Since I was about eight. Of course. Can you throw in yours and your brother's clothes after the next load? They're in the bathroom basket. Totally, yeah. Um, no problem. Thank you so much. <laughs> Feel free to start tidying your stuff, too. It's good for the health to keep a house clean. Definitely. Daniel can help. Ah. And remember, for your own safety, no phone and no internet. I know, I know, boring rules. Don't worry, Claire. 